Okay, our tip of the week is adding details to the foundation. And this is going to have two parts to it. One is going to be how we add details using the profile editor. The other is how we add details uh, with objects. So with a uh, complex profile editor, as I talked about before, you know, you have to use the fill pattern in order to create an extrusion uh, within, a, um, uh, within a complex profile. But we can also use uh, the circle tool and the line tool as a, um, uh, as, as a template, if you will, to create things. So in this case, for example, um, I could actually, if I want to draw a rebar, uh, and I want to maybe place that here. If I want that to extrude so it shows in 3D and shows in sections, then what I need to do is I need to draw a circle first and then open up the design menu, open up the magic wand settings, and change this from deviations from curves to segments along arcs, and then and change it to 8 or 10 or 6, whatever you want. And this is going to basically then, when I use my magic wand, and I click on this edge here, it's going to create a hole. And that hole that it creates is then going to be available to, is then going to show in my section. I'm going to take a section through here, and it's going to show, show in my 3D. And the only way you can do that again is by actually creating a physical hole uh, in, that, uh, uh, in that profile. Otherwise, if you just draw it with a circle, it's not going to show in sections and it's not going to show in my um, 3D. So you need to create, uh, need to edit that fill pattern and make it so it's extruded. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's not going to be part of that. Graphics are the same thing. Um, if you were to put a two by on top of a wall, uh, as you see here, first glance, it looks like it's just lines. It's actually not lines. It's actually holes in that fill pattern. And so, you know, you have to be really careful about the way that you, you put this together. Because, again, if I just draw a line across here and I go to my 3D or I go to my section, it's not going to show as lines. It's only going to show as just a, a, a block. Okay. So what you can do is you can actually create holes in this, in, you know, that you'll never actually see. Uh, because unless you zoom into it, it's, it's just going to look like lines. It's going to look like lines in my section. It's going to look like lines in my 3D, but I have to create holes in the 3D fill in the fill in order for the show in sections and elevations, and, sorry sections and um, 3D cutaways. So as you can see here, when I do a section through this, it shows us just a single line. Even though if I were to zoom in really close, I would see it as holes. Same thing here. I mean that looks like just a line going across, but if I were to zoom into uh, the section or the fill pattern. Um, on my um, my uh, uh, profile, it's going to show it as holes. So that's the way that you actually create a hole. Uh, that's the way you create a lines um, on a surface when you need to for the purpose of graphics. And then finally, is using modeled elements and objects uh, within a foundation. So you know, if you really want to get into details, actually, one of our clients. Uh, um, Craig Wilson, uh, who has, uh, he's, a, he's a design build firm, and he really does a great job at putting detail into the model. He basically goes in and shows his hold downs. Um, he's showing uh, you know, the brackets that go along here um, that, that, that tie into our um, two buys for earthquake activity for us here in earthquake country. Um, and so, you know, if you want to add those kinds of details or other elements in, in the model, you need to basically go to a website and download those objects. Now, those objects might be in AutoCAD 3D. Um, they might be, sometimes you can find them in ARCHICAD, but oftentimes these days they're going to be in a Revit uh, 3D family. And they'll have a download to be able to download those 3D models. So as you can see here is an anchor tie-down system. This is part of the Simpson Strong Tie collection. You can just go to the website. You can download uh, the Revit files. And then you may be asking, well, they're Revit files. How do I get that in ARCHICAD? So what you do is you go to a uh, website called BIM6x.com. And from there, you can download the RFA and RVT add-on. Interesting, this is actually developed by Graphisoft. Um, but in the U.S., they actually offer it through uh, BIM Success's web website. Uh, it is free. And uh, it is, uh, well, then once you uh, uh, download it, 
and install it. It's going to be added into your uh, uh, Archicad um, file. You'll need to close Archicad or reopen it to, to see it. Um, and then to access it, you will then go into your file menu, libraries and objects, and import RFA as GDL object. And that's a really great way of, of course, not just uh, objects for a foundation, but objects really for uh, many, many uses in Archicad, from furniture to equipment to appliances that you might need for your kitchen and anything out there that, you know, you go to a website for a manufacturer um, and uh, it's in an RFA format. No problem these days. Download it. You can use it in Archicad. And that is our tip of the week.